What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, this may be the end of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Um, it's been kind of crazy because... My numbers have fallen off a cliff, and I'm not sure that we can recover from where we used to be. Um, that's the thing about uh, the internet and being a flash in the pan, so to speak. That you know, the, the, you know, when you do YouTube and things, or when you're in the public eye, it's real easy to get canceled. Where all of a sudden you're here today and gone tomorrow. You know, it's like being a childhood star. You know, you were the big cheese there as a kid. But then all of a sudden, yeah, you start growing up and you start losing it or you get typecasted in a certain way. And people just kind of like, meh, you know, we're done with you. And I guess that's kind of what's happened with this channel. And I'm not sure that we're going to be able to recover. Um, I appreciate all of the people that are still watching. But um, let me explain to you what's been happening. Um, this started on Sunday. Um, Sunday during before the live stream, before the Cowboys game, everything was good fine it was wonderful as usual i had so many people in commenting and talking and, and, and being part of the live stream and stuff and then all of a sudden the cowboys started playing really well and the giants excuse me the eagles they looked like the giants the giants before tommy devito and then all of a sudden my numbers I could literally see it in real time just kept dropping and dropping and dropping and drop the amount of comments that normally are always there when the Cowboys are playing weren't there and I just thought well maybe people you know just we're busy you know it's Christmas time of year and maybe people are out Christmas shopping and stuff and then maybe this was just you know an exception and not the rule but what I've noticed is you know when I did my live stream yesterday it was very quiet. The numbers weren't quite there. The passion wasn't there the way it normally is, the way it's been. I mean, for the last year, it's been literally like, you know, skyrocket, skyrocket with numbers and people commenting. And, you know, it, it was literally like just crabs in a barrel, just cry, climbing all over each other to make comments that the comments would come so fast that I couldn't even read them. But since that Sunday night game, it's all dried up. And I'm afraid that like the Eagles, it's not going to recover. And so I don't know if we can make it on this channel without all of those Eagle cockroaches that have been in telling me telling us how bad the Dallas Cowboys are. The Dak Prescott haters that say that Dak sucks, Dak trash cut, dink and dunk Dak, Dak regress got, trade Dak, Dak Prescott's a dumb. I'd take Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, uh, I'd take Baker Mayfield. Carson Wentz is better. Carson Wentz is a Maserati and Dak Prescott, well, he's really a Yugo. Those people that are saying that Micah Parsons really wants to be an Eagle. <sighs> Those people who've been in telling me how bad Mike McCarthy is, how antiquated his offense is, how much it sucks how overrated the Dallas Cowboys are, how they don't beat winning teams, that Tony Romo was better, that Jalen Hurts, 
that Dak Prescott couldn't carry his jock strap. I, I, I don't know what happened, and, and I don't know how to get those people back, those views back, those numbers. <sighs> the Dallas Cowboys have screwed it. They screwed it up. The Cowboys have screwed it up by being good. The Dallas Cowboys have killed my channel. <laughs> you know, it, it, in 2018, I lost my channel, my other channel, and it hurt so bad. And now, <sighs> it feels that way again. I miss all of those great eagle trolls guys like faded punch that said get out the brooms I don't know what I'm going to do I don't know what I'm going to do because I feel like it's going to be this way for the rest of the year. I feel like because the Dallas Cowboys and Jerry Jones, because Jerry Jones, maybe him doing the right thing finally with Jimmy Johnson and maybe lifting this 29-year curse, it's kind of like the Bobby Lane curse, 50-year curse, which lasted more like 60 and still going, that Bobby Lane put on the Lions, that Jerry Jones finally putting Jimmy Johnson in the ring of honor has changed the mojo and the karma around them. And now they're doing things like winning games against Seattle when they used to find ways to lose and taking care of what people thought was the best team in football and kicking their teeth in, getting guys like D-Law, Literally, literally not taking crap anymore. Literally telling you flat out. Hit a motherfucker in the face over and over and over and over again until they quit. And when they quit, hit them again and again and again and again. You know, I'm literally losing friends. I used to hear from Philly 500 every single day. He don't text me anymore. He don't talk to me like he used to. <sighs> I hope this is not the end of the Joe Goose Sports Report. But we'll see. Is suspected yet? Does this defense have any heart? That's no. They suck. The I've been telling you all season, Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness.